Welcome back to Gothenburg. Two medals to Australia today. Silver to our men in the 4x100. Bronze to our women in the 4x400 metres. After the Jamaicans were disqualified, here's the 4x4 for men. Horton's come into the team, Jane, to run in the final. He ran so well in the final of the 400 metres too, so he'll be a great addition to their team. Kenya not starting, which is a surprise and a shame in lane five. The USA are in lane four, Poland seven, Germany eight, Nigeria three, Cuba two, Great Britain without Richardson in one. The USA have sprung a change. Darnell Hall is out, their third runner, and they've replaced him with a fifth man home in the American Championship, Marion Ramsey to go first. So it'll be Ramsey to Derek Mills to Butch Reynolds to Michael Johnson. Jane, it was 2.54.29. That's a world record. It was Valmon and Watts, Richard, uh, um, Valmon, Watts, Reynolds and Johnson in Stuttgart. It was a fantastic world record. I think Reynolds and Johnson are going better than they were, though Johnson must be tighter because he's had an extra four races. It's whether Ramsey and Mills can run as well as Valman and Watts. Mills has run 44-1-3 this year out of the blocks. Ramsey, this man here, ran 45-0-3 in the American trials. Valman and Watts, though, they're two fairly big names to live up to. Quincy Watts, of course, the Olympic champion in 1992. And Valman way up there at world level as well in the top three and four. So they're fairly big names to live up to for those first two legs. Relays haven't been super fast either today. It's a really swirling win. The women's 4 by one if you think back, the women's 4x4, four four, the men's 4x1. Four they were slower than they were in the semis. So it might be a very difficult day out there. <clears throat> Johnson to come home after Reynolds will hand it to him and then Mills and Ramsey. I guess one of the interesting things here, Bruce, will be how fast Johnson can actually run from a fly. Yes, I think he was at 42.9 or something in Stuttgart. So for the outside, the Germans. Jan goes for them, Poland in seven. Beverly McDonald's brother is running for Jamaica. He's the world junior champion. In six, look how fast he's gone on the left of screen in lane six. Ramsey of America's also gone out very hard, remembering he's got a vacant lane outside of him. Then the Nigerians, the Cubans and the Brits. Well, the Americans are going pretty well. That's McDonald of Jamaica, Ramsey of the US. The Germans are flattered by their draw in lane eight. So lane six right out there. Ramsey's run very well for the US. Jamaica, US and then Nigeria. Mills to get the baton, he has, has not had many runs here for the US, away he goes, and the US look to be fairly close to be on target, Jamaica second, Clark goes for them, the split for Ramsey, unofficial 46.02, so they're a bit behind maybe, Mills is going to run really hard if they're to challenge this world record, I think they'd have to drop the baton to lose the race and probably drop it twice. And you can see where they crossed over there, that's what caused the problem with the Jamaican team in the women's 4x4, four four. crossing over onto the back straight. Now everyone will run in lane one. The lineup for the baton positions when you come into the changeover is normally judged on what position your team is in at the 200 metre mark. You would expect the Americans to be a lot further ahead of the Jamaicans if they were going to get anywhere near the world record. Yes, Harry Butch Reynolds takes the baton. McFarlane to go for Jamaica. The Germans are third. Running for them, Carson. Britain fourth. Patrick runs for them. Kekti goes past, Reynolds is starting to open up, getting away, Clark running well, Horton to come home for Jamaica and the one and only to bring them home for the USA. Butch starting to power, he's so strong Reynolds, the Germans and the Brits, the Poles are having a real battle with the Nigerians, Mills' split was good, 43-22 we believe, now I reckon the critical time here is about 2.11. If they can get up to 2.11 to Johnson, there's a bit of a hope. They're going to miss, I reckon. He couldn't possibly. No, not even this man could bring them home. 2.54.29. There's a real battle on for the third position too. Between the Germans, the Poles, the Brits and the Nigerians. Those yep. four will be fighting it out for the bronze medal. Roger Black for Great Britain, trying to pick off a couple. Tell, uh, and Barter coming home. Johnson's flying away. It's his third gold medal. He missed the 400 by a whisker, the world record. He missed the 200 by a whisker. He's already anchored a world record relay in Stuttgart, and they're not as fast here. But Johnson comes home to win again. Horton home, and Sunday Barter comes home. 
So Nigeria third after Jamaica got second, and the US win yet again. Upset in Tokyo when they were beaten by the British. World record in Stuttgart and another gold medal to them here. I think Johnson was exhausted. He's a split unofficially. He's about 44. Nothing like what he ran in Stuttgart, but he's had the four extra races. He's been a superstar here. And Butch Reynolds and uh, Michael Johnson, who weren't quite so matey after the final of the 400. Lock arms with uh, Marion Ramsey and Derek Mills. And the Americans have had a really successful championships. They've won, I think, 12, certainly 11 gold medals. 12 it is in total. And I think the next best is about uh, two or three from any of the other countries. They've been so dominant. It's Derek Mills and Marion Ramsey. who got his chance over Darnell Hall here. And there's Butch and Michael in the background. They will give five medals to the Americans, though, because Darnell Hall did help them get through to the final. So that's the situation if there are five runners in all the rounds. Everyone does receive a medal. Well, Atlanta's going to be great, isn't it, with uh, Reynolds trying to take it off Johnson. That's if Johnson runs the 400. We're not sure he can't double at the moment with the two and the four. 